are here with the uh, 007 Interceptor to pilot it for two years. Uh, LA County will be operating and maintaining it. Two storm seasons to see how much trash we can capture. We do realize that the majority of the trash that's flowing through Bayonet Creek is during storm seasons, right? You know, the residents see it, we see it on the beaches. So while it will be in place uh, throughout the rest of the two-year pilot, the idea is that it will serve as an educational campaign, right? It's a bit hard to miss out here, so hopefully the sleek designs will attract people here. Uh, we have wonderful educational signage posted around the area that'll inform folks that trash not only you know ends up on the beach, but that it does originate from somewhere, so that they're mindful of where they're you know, putting their trash. They can assist with other beach cleanup efforts, other trash cleanup efforts. We have some wonderful groups in the area that they can volunteer their time with, and uh, yeah. The first priority is to make sure that the second boom is deployed ready for the first flush. Right? It's very difficult to predict weather anyway, and to make sure that we do it with enough time that we definitely capture everything, that's the first challenge. Between 5 and 10, we should get 0 0.01, 11 to 4, 0.05, 5 to 10. 0.14 inches, 11 to 4 a.m. on Tuesday, 0 .20, 0 0.26 inches, from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Tuesday, 0 0.23 inches, and Tuesday again from 10 a.m. to about 3 p.m., another 0.27 inches. Should give us a good flow. There's a lot, <laughs> more than I thought, for sure. You know, so, uh, no, like I said, it's, this is great. This is really good, and uh, like I said, I know it's, it's uh, as each week it will be picking up more, so uh, it's fantastic. is uh, picking up the trash that is flowing out of Bologna Creek so that it's going to remove the trash before it gets to our Pacific Ocean. Well, it, it looks like you guys are doing a great job. Looks like it's cleaning up what normally is a, a polluted Bionda Creek after a, a major storm. And as a person who runs on the beach for many, many years, it's working. I mean, I can see that the beach going south of us is much cleaner. Um, I see all the debris that's coming down and it's obviously gathering it all up. And so I'm stoked that uh, as a person that's out here and also as a pseudo environmentalist to see this happening for us, it's great. From what I heard, it's full inside and they're gonna empty it and then this can have its chance to go in and not go in the ocean. We're so lucky to have it here. It's just a big deal. It really is a big deal.
we just experienced first flush. You know, you get that kind of that surge of trash uh, that's up against the uh, the boom, and it literally just kind of piles itself up on, on, onto the boom. It, it, it definitely operated as designed. It's interesting to see the trash characteristics in, inside the, the bins. If you figure this thing holds 12,000 pounds in one rain event, I mean, that's pretty good in my opinion. It's amazing, man. This is really cool. I really, I don't know if I had my doubts, but I, I didn't want to celebrate too early when we were here. Was that a week ago or two weeks ago when, well, for the unveiling of this thing? But now just seeing it here and working and that's ah, great. It, it's, it's really cool. I think, I, I don't know if I was a naysayer uh, for this technology, but I, I definitely wasn't a, uh, a ringleader or a, I wasn't banging the drum to get this thing in here. But now that it's here, I'm really glad it's here. It's working really well. This is awesome. This is awesome and California doing its thing and you know, this is only one of the little things that could make a big difference if everybody do their part. So I, I appreciate that and I'm gonna keep doing my part and encourage people to not do this because this is horrible. And I'm not a TV person by no means, but you know, I'm just saying exactly what I feel, what I see. Yeah, so I, I walk on the beach regularly. I, I'm, a, I'm a regular jogger and you can see the volume of waste here. Uh, and clearly this is not perfect. There's still some waste showing up on the beach, but it's the first and most drastic attempt that I've seen at trying to make a difference. And so for sure it needs some refinement, it needs some investment, it needs support, but clearly this is a step in the right direction. So it's, it's encouraging and it, and it makes me proud to see someone trying to do something to improve, uh, improve the environment. And the program, it, you can tell it's not perfect. You know, the, the gate here doesn't close up to the edge, but a large percentage is captured. And so it proves that it is possible. It's, it's worth trying. It's worth putting an investment towards it uh, because clearly there is an avenue where this can be solved to some extent, even if today as it is, it's not absolutely perfect. As the tide rises and falls, that, that gap between the levee and the boom, it, it increases and decreases. So when the barrier has, is, is increased, it was allowing some leakage to go by on that left side. But we had some old booms up by Lincoln, so it was nice to be able to repurpose those booms. Uh, we kind of connected that to the end of the barrier to fill in that gap, and then we kind of ran the boom parallel with the levee going upstream and secured it. So uh, looking out there this morning, it, it looked pretty good. You know what I mean? It, 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 it did its job, what I expected it to do, and the trash is staying where it needs to be now. So it's nice. It's an opportunity to kind of inform the public you know that you know it you know the the interceptors here it, it's doing a great job but also what our department does so yeah it's actually a, it's serving to everything that it's built up to be it's it's been great We thought we were probably going to get six loads all year, and we're working on our, th our third load already on the first rain event. So that's a uh, it's quite incredible. When you actually see all that trash together, that huge patch, and you think, "Wow, that's that's what was on our beaches. That's what all the wildlife was playing in." It's crazy. I mean, I can't I can't believe we figured out something that can actually help this thing. Uh, we're just so excited. Hard to describe. Uh, hard to put into words because we've seen this, this creek just overflow with trash. It's a main source of pollution in Santa Monica Bay. And uh, to see that, being all, all, all the photos being captured here is, I guess beautiful is the only word I can think of, man. It's, it is a bit strange to use, to use uh, it's almost like a euphemism to use beautiful to describe this scene. But I, you know, living in this, uh, bay my whole life and knowing where this trash could be uh, along the you know the last 26 miles of this bay of the beach and I said it's just being captured here I mean it's just a it's a success story
Oh man, I'm so glad I came out this morning. Honestly, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, the entire community is so excited to have clean beaches, to have wildlife not be interfered with. Um, you know, there's a few people that are kind of nimby about it, but to be honest, most of the people here are just so excited, so excited for this. So I hope that in the future, this becomes something that is turned into our, our system of waste and refuse, um, and that it's something that is scaled and put into production. This being a pilot project, and looking at the success we're looking at today, and just moving forward and adjusting and, gosh, in 10 years, man, if we keep this up, and with the technology to, as it is now, and just making our, our adjustments as we move forward. I mean, we, we could honestly remove Bayona Creek as a major contributor of floatable trash in Santa Monica Bay. That'd be huge. That'd be so huge, man.